Fiona was made in 1977 based on Fiona's heavily fictionalized autobiography detailing her life up until that point taking the same approach the central premise is that Fiona arrives in France to meet with her publisher and on of lover only to be confronted by a stranger Anthony Steele who tells her that the man has done a flit and he is there to seize a set in a rather blurs person Fiona then recount her life story to the stranger and a series of flashback relate Fiona's wealth of love experience from her school days which gives us the chance to see a then 31 or so year old Fiona deck out as a schoolgirl receiving unusual punishment from her teacher through to her days as an a hostess and ultimately a so hostess and writer for men only we can never make my mind up about fiona richma whilst her place as a legend of british exploitation is assured in some lights she is rather gorgeous but in others she all too often resemble an east island statue in a helmet of hair stony and emotionless can also be an accurate description of fiona's acting talent because in short she has none lines aren't so much delivered as drop to the floor making the genuine actor around her really struggle to bring some oomph to dialogue heavy scenes of course when she takes her cloth off it's a different matter this is fiona's natural territory and she seem instantly comfortable and at home which is ironic as it is then that the real actors flounder naturally enough the film leaks along its 80 minute running time at a fair all right as we cover the salient point of fiona's bonking marathon excuse of her life we see ronald fraser as the soho empresario who first employ fiona and later victor spinetti as the proprietor of men only magazine and both a highly comical interpretation of paul raymond the key here is the film knows exactly what it is a light for the piece that really isn't to be taken seriously at all after all no one involved is taking it seriously as such it is actually one of the most successful exploitation features and benefit greatly from some lovely cinematography and the opportunity to film in the summer of 1976 when britain enjoy a record breaking heat wave at the height of then popularity of hard films documentaries that included the likes of british filmmaker james clark decided to make his very own sopko erotica take on that subgenre with england's then popular sopko cinema star fiona richman 
in a fictionalized mockumentary that has Fiona playing herself as a wealthy and successful actress turned writer who arrived at her male friend's French chateau only to find a new occupant with a secretly shady criminal past living there and relate to him the story of her life with the film depicting various sopko encounter between various people whom she encounter in her life which all range from a school teacher to a church employee to a female friend to a desk to a television director to a trucker to both an estate manager and his older boss to a train conductor clark mainly focuses on keeping the film as both sopko and comedic as possible filling the film with endless amount of nudity as richman stroll howard through the film in a dutiful manner while displaying a likable and sympathetic on screen presence fiona is pretty much a lightweight comedic soap romp that is very enjoyable upon the eyes that does a splendid job of representing both british and european soap genre cinema of the time a pretty decent soap comedy that's closer to the new cuties of the 1960s than the actual hardcore feature narrative of the late 1970s it's made more interesting by its role as a camp autobiography starring Fiona Richmond as herself Richmond does a great job hamming it up and poking fun at her own limitation as an actress but imagine what Mertzger or De Ranzi could have done with this material and this performance. It frequently clap back at major critic of love and romance. There is a staging of a confrontation with a Sheila Zafris or Andrea Dawkins type on TV. The best bits are a recurring gag of a German author and his documentary crew trying to make a film about Fiona. The buffoonish director could easily be Herzog or some new German cinema bro spouting a nine pop psychology and dime store sociology to force his subject into his prepackaged cultural analysis the best bit is when the german crew is caught spying on fiona in her own bathroom and the director says this is cine varet and just moments after asking fiona about how her liberation fits into two feminist ideologies proof positive that the art house is full of shit when it comes to its obsession with romance work the hypocrisy of wanting to film naked women while framing pornography as the downfall of western civilization the film is episodic and told in chapters each one with its own love number These are comprised of soft lit humping and lots of non diegetic side gags in place of the meat and money sort. Some of these work pretty well but a couple are pretty dry. Fiona is one of these strange piece of cinema that try and combine the world of drama and pornography. 
In my experience, any film that try to do this only succeed in failing on both count. And this is textbook example of this happening. It must have been as the acting that this woman gives us is beyond description. It is so unbelievably bad that whereas the film does advertise itself as a comedy, much of the laughter I'm sure is unintentional. The film charts her life from as far back as 17 and to see this uniform clad woman squealing with delight as her schoolmaster seduces her is probably the funniest piece of celluloid ever made. Miss Richmond obviously insisted that she was still fresh faced enough to play a schoolgirl and it demonstrate her popularity by the fact that no one dared argue. All her lines are delivered in a tired monotone and her love scenes stay as erotic as they are likely. There are too many mistakes in this film to mention, but some are so laughably obvious that you begin to wonder if they are indeed all part of a big director's joke. The one that stays in my mind is the act of placing a red carpet down a staircase. However, one interesting piece of information I have learned is that the great Malcolm McDowell appears in the film, although he is uncredited. Fiona is an ill-fated outing for British starlet Fiona Richmond, an actress who made a handful of comedies in the UK in the late 1970s before disappearing into relative obscurity. Watching one of her films, it's immediately apparent why she vanished. She is pretty dreadful as an actress, her only talent her obvious willingness to strip naked for her roles. Her best film is The Lurid Soccer Expose. As a film, Fiona is quite lamentable, a smarty series of love as Capaid clearly modeled on the success of Emmanuel. Fiona confusingly plays herself and the film is an on-screen autobiography of short. But in reality, it merely shows of the actress taking part in love scenes with a series of cameoing British actors. There is a ludicrous schoolgirl teacher encounter, an escapade with her spanking enthusiast and plenty more outrageous situation. The comedy is non-existent and Richmond's acting is diabolical. But some fun is had from the familiar faces involved. The comedy is non-existent and Richmond's acting is diabolical. But some fun is had from the familiar faces involved.